Keith Stone, and today we're going somewhere totally different. Not only are we not traveling into fiction, but we're slipping behind a curtain most of us didn't even know existed. We are going to explore the complicated world of who decides what our teachers teach. Come with me into the Marketplace of Ideas by Louis Menon. Full disclosure, I have never read a book like this before. I've never even thought about a book like this before. But once I started applying to colleges and reading about what each school expects you to learn, I started researching how each school comes up with that expectation, which led me to Louis Menon. So let me start you with the question. How many of you ever thought about how colleges decide what you should be studying? If you're like me, you probably never thought about it or just figured somewhere deep in your psyche that maybe there was once a Moses-like professor who brought a curriculum etched in stone down from a mountain and that was it. Well, Louis Menon lets us know through four provocative essays that that's not how it works. His essays discuss how one creates a general ed program required by all undergraduate students. We get a lot of history of education, an insider's glimpse on competing approaches by different schools, and a fascinating analysis entitled, Why Do Professors All Think Alike? All sorts of questions raised through my mind when reading that. Should all students read the same books so that we can speak the same language during discussions? Should we all study different things as long as they get us to think? Why are classes in the humanities so important even today? If you're like me and you believe that studying literature makes you a more enlightened, analytical, and empathetic person, you'll want to read The Marketplace of Ideas. After all, once we're in college, aren't we part of the conversation? I'd give this book five thumbs up. Read it. Let's talk. What do you think?